If you're watching this video, you're probably asking yourself, is PPF worth spending the money on? Well, I'm Duncan from Auto Shine and Tintin, and behind me with the help of this Alfa Romeo, I'm gonna try and answer that question for you. So three and a half years ago, this customer selected our most popular PPF package, the extended front option. That covers from there forward, so your full front end, your wing mirrors, your A-pillars, your front section of your roof, your side skirts, this little section behind the rear wheels and your load hatch. That is designed to cover all the vulnerable areas without the expense of the full vehicle. Now that was a little cheaper three and a half years ago because prices have gone up like everything in the world, but today that package costs on this car £1,450 plus VAT. Now that is not an insignificant amount of money. So let's take a look at this particular example and see if the owner has got a return on investment. Now, in normal circumstances, we wouldn't have this car back right now because the car would just be sold with the PPF on. I would argue that would add to the value of the vehicle because if it's like for like vehicle, if I was buying one of these, I would much prefer one with PPF because I know it's not going to have any stone chips. Uh, compared to one without, it's going to be quite battered. Now, this isn't normal circumstances because this particular car has this damage here. The nasty scuff there, nasty scuff there. I'm pretty sure it's only in the PPF and I'm confident the PPF is 100% safe the paint we're going to have a look at that later shortly in the video there is damage in the bonnet there there's just that one mark that's 100 saved the paint it's only a mark in the ppf it's not gone through we're going to leave the rest of the ppf on because there's no reason to remove it if the person buying the car comes along and says well i don't like that we can just remove the ppf on the bonnet and the bonnet's going to be perfect no marks on the bonnet on the wings sorry on the side skirts anything like that so they can all stay so Let's let's get the bumper off. Let's take a look if it's if it's worked. It's magic. So normally to remove PPF, we would heat it all up with a heat gun. Today we are blessed with 26 degree heat in the UK. So I've left this out here for an hour and a half, two hours. The bumper is hot all over. It's a much better way of doing it because with a heat gun you get quite you get targeted heat. Where this way the whole bumper is is nicely heated. So I am going to start removing. This is also interesting because this vehicle was painted just before we PPF'd it. So it, it, it wasn't brand new when the customer bought it. So they had the front end painted just to get rid of stone chips and then protect it. So we're going to find, it's going to be interesting to see how good the paint is underneath and if it lifts with the PPF because it is a gamble. If you have aftermarket paint is always a gamble of whether it's going to stay on there. No matter who paints it, if it's not aftermarket, there's also always a risk when we move the PPF that it's going to lift the lacquer. Let's, let's take a look. Now, as you can see, I'm stretching upwards. I'm not pulling off, and that's how you should always remove PPF because this puts less tension on the paint. If, you, if we stretch, so I'm lifting upwards and stretching it off that way rather than pulling off, and that's how you should always do it. You can see these marks in the PPF coming off. But they haven't torn or gone through the PPF, so we're confident that's going to be all good underneath. You can see all these marks. These are all marks that would be in the paint if this wasn't here. So these are your little stone chips. You can see it's not dirt. These would all be in the paint right now. But the PPF has took them all. All this. That is what the PPF has saved the bum bumper. So although yet yeah, it's done the big scuff, you can see all these little stone chips would be in this paint right now. <sighs> so I've stopped here because we've got this really nasty stone chip. You can see it's damaged the PPF. There is a chance that's gone through because I can see it's really damaged the PPF. So, let us see if it's gone through or not. Complete clarity here. So there is a small hole in it. So we can see it hasn't actually damaged the paint. That's just glue which we can take off, but it has actually dented the bumper. So what we do, we just polish that and that's going to take those marks away because that's just the glue off the PPF but you can see it's physically dented the plastic. So obviously that was some, some impact if it's dented plastic. So although there's still a mark there, it would be 
10 times worse if the PPF wasn't there and importantly the paint isn't damaged so it's not that noticeable and yeah when we've give that poly a polish you're not going to notice that at all. So that is done. There's a little bit of adhesive on here that we've got to take off and we will run over it with the polish so the whole car's got to be washed yet before we hand it back. Other than that the bumper is in perfect condition, not a stone chip in sight. Those marks, absolutely nowhere to see. It didn't go through the PPF, so that's all good. So what's been the return on the investment for this particular customer? So number one, if the car still had PPF on it, you could advertise the car for a higher price. Personally, I would pay at least a thousand pound more for a car with PPF on it, because I know it's in pristine condition. Number two, obviously you can't put both of these together in value because this car has now not got the PPF on the front bumper, but if this customer didn't have the PPF there, they'd be looking at about 600 pound plus VAT to paint the front bumper. What we can do in this situation, we could re-PPF the front bumper, we do him a deal because he's a returning customer, if you do it at cost price, just do that, put the PPF back on there, and then they can advertise the car as having PPF on. I don't know which way that customer wants to go, but there is, however you calculate it, a return on investment either way there. Number three, and this is where it all comes down to, and this isn't so much a monetary value. This customer has been able to drive this car for three and a half years and it's been in pristine condition so the film self heals so there's no soil marks on it and black cars always soil mark so he hasn't had to worry about any of that it's always looked perfect and he's been able to drive the car and enjoy the car and that is the most important thing we all work really hard to buy nice things there's no point in buying nice things if every time you use them you're just going to worry when you're behind the wheel this customer's had three and a half years of worry-free motoring. He's been able to do a scuff on a bumper, not worry about what it's doing to the car because he's got PPF. That doesn't necessarily have a monetary value to it, but that is by far the biggest return on investment enjoying what you've worked hard to buy. That brings us to the end of the video and hopefully I've answered the question, what return on investment do you get? And it's not just a monetary value. So Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think. If I've been honest, down below, do you agree with my, with my conclusion? Thanks for watching. Check out other videos. Like and subscribe, people. Please do it. See you next time.